Wisconsin University is celebrating the success of students enrolled in its STEM program. STEM standing for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. This historically black school, located in Columbia, was founded in the 1870s, is affiliated with the AME Church, and has about 600 students. Many of these students are graduating with degrees in the sciences or technology, and they're securing enrollment in medical school, dental school, or getting jobs working in laboratories in their areas of interest. How are they doing it? What we're doing differently here at Allen University to prepare them for the workforce is smaller classrooms where we can actually stop if they don't understand something, go back and explain things. Also using a lot of visual aids. So I do for my A&P class, I have PowerPoint slides, I write on the uh, dry erase board, but I also have miniature models that I purchase where they can actually have hands-on at their own lab table of the things that we're actually discussing in class. Little movement with the clavicle, right? I like using technology because it allows me to do things that a regular blackboard can't do. I can put pictures on the board that I couldn't do normally. I can use the same notes that a different professor has used so that we can stay on the same page, teach things the same way, use the same sort of examples. That line is just the y-axis. It's another one of those axis boundaries with the obvious ones, right? right? Dr. Michael Lane uses a program called the Flipped Classroom. The flipped classroom is where the students outside of class are watching the video that would normally be taught inside the classroom. So they learn the material outside of class and then inside the classroom they get to apply their learning and practice the problems and it helps them to learn the material with the teacher's help through example rather than through sitting in a lecture. And it also allows for extra class time for them to be able to practice more with the teacher rather than just going back into their rooms and trying the problems on their own. I really do believe it is helping them to do well in the course and to learn things more effectively. I'm going to monitor this water quality. When it comes to the environment, Dr. Tamahiro Kawaguchi encourages his biology students to use what they learn outside of the classroom with a program called LabQuest. I'm uh, teaching students how to use this uh, state-of-art uh, device called RabQuest to monitor uh, water temperature, water conductivity, pH. Not only that, we ask students to go outside of the uh, uh, classroom to monitor the stream they are interested in, and then they can actually uh, participate uh, volunteer uh, monitoring program. So their student learn the knowledge in the classroom, but at the same time, they're actually participating uh, as a, a next workforce to monitor the water quality. So that by doing so, they are actually doing the uh, learning as well as the internship at the same time. Now, I want to quickly show you how to calculate the GC content. Dr. Oluwole Ario teaches molecular biology. He stresses the importance of practical activity. I found out that the very best way to really engage students is to bring in hands-on activities into the class that relates to the topic that is actually being taught in the class. So that way it sticks better with them. Eventually they develop interest, then spur them up to become, to, 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 to want to go into such a profession. I feel fulfilled as a professor. I don't think I could be in any other place that would be better satisfying to me because I believe in life that if you're able to reach just one person, then you're making an impact. Now, we want to print the result, right? Mr. Abdallah Rabie is another instructor in Allen University's science and technology program who believes in the magic of hands-on projects and internships. The class, we try to use a hand-on project. Uh, I divide the class by half. Half, we go, I explain the subject and then half of the class, I'm going to give them assignment to do it on the computers. And uh, there is one important thing. Uh, we have an internship program uh, that is in the evening and summertime. Those are summer camp. So the student, they come in the evening to participate in uh, a project activity. 
One of those students is Demetrius Johnson, who transferred to Allen, went through their computer summer camp, and now works in Allen's information technology department. The first semester I came here, Rave was already trying to get me with the IT department, and I told him I wasn't confident that I had the info or the knowledge to apply it yet. He was like, don't worry about it, we'll teach you. Like, you can start at zero, and you'll walk, then you'll run. And he got me um, in with IT over the summer, I learned everything. I went from zero to 100, literally, and everything I learned over the summer, apparently they liked me, and they hired me again for this semester. My experience at Allen University has been great because of the small classroom sizes. The teachers like um, Mr. Ravier, Dr. Lane, Dr. Boozer, they are, they're, really, they're, they're really there for you. They really help you. The professor here are very helpful, actually. They motivate me every day, even when I want to give up. I am very happy I came here. News like this makes Allen University president, Dr. Ernest McNeely, proud. Well, I think students are receiving a great deal of personal attention that uh, continually allows them to achieve their maximum potential. Uh, we have a very dedicated faculty uh, in the STEM disciplines, uh, and they provide the kinds of inspiration and instruction that has been very important in our students moving on to graduate school, uh, to medical school, and uh, to a number of uh, highly paid positions in, in technology. The focus is really on ensuring that students have the skills necessary, the intellectual skills, uh, the human skills, uh, to succeed at whatever it is they ultimately decide to do.